Hey there, in the previous part we're creating and using some properties. In this video, we'll have a look at how properties are actually defined and used. So here's the code that we used in the previous video. We have a class with three properties, object properties defined. Here we have to import the object property class. And now, as you can see, we define the Kiwi properties like we define class attributes, so on the class level. But then we use them like instance attributes inside the set text method. So, do they behave like class attributes or like instance attributes? Well, Kiwi properties are an interesting combination of both. We define them as class attributes but they're not shared by all the instances of the class, so they behave like instance properties. This is because Kiwi internally transforms them into instance attributes. What makes them more useful than instance properties, though, is that whenever we define a Kiwi property, Kiwi internally also associates an event with this property, using a naming convention of adding the prefix on to the name of the property. So, if the property's name is state, the corresponding method will be onState, and so on. This event is fired whenever the value of the property changes. This is why we don't need to take care of the changes ourselves. Now, let's define a Kiwi property, for example, the numeric property, and see how to use it. We need to modify our test Kiwi file first. So, here it is. Here we have the three properties, label, button 1, button 2. They reference the three objects by IDs. Good. And here we have just this method. When the button is pressed, this method is called setText. Now let's modify our test.py file as well. So first of all, we have to import the numeric property because we're going to use it here. Numeric property. And now suppose we need a number, so a numeric property is the way to go. So let's initialize it to zero by passing zero as the default value, which actually is the default value. So even if we don't pass it here, it'll be understood as zero. So here we have counter, which is a numeric property. And now let's use it just like an instance attribute inside the set text method. So what we want to do is increase the number of this counter property by one self counter plus equals one. So as you can see, I define the property as a numeric property on the class level, just like a class attribute, but then use it inside the method like an instance attribute. Let me change these three lines of code. And now if we run this program, and hit the first button a couple of times, look what happens. 0, 0, 0. 1, 10, 100. 2, 20, 200. And so on. Now we're going to add some properties to our project in the following videos of this series, but before we do that, in the next video, we we'll take care of the app window size so that we don't have to manually resize it whenever we run our app. Hey guys, my name is Kamel and I'm a Python programmer. And today I would like to talk about my book, Gui Programming with Python and Kiddy. Now in this book, we're creating a project from scratch. Oh, no, no. Now here you can see some samples from the book.
Now, if you are interested in purchasing this book, you will find the links to it down in the description below. So, thank you very much for your attention and I hope you will have at least as much fun reading my book as I had writing it. So, see you around! Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.